Hello and welcome. I came across this satisfying 3D looping animation made by Roger Kilimanjaro on Instagram. By the way, consider uh, checking his work. So I thought it was a perfect fit for a new YouTube video. The idea is to create a seamless looping animation similar to this one, but without the lights. This is not a long step-by-step -step video for beginners, however I will share all the crucial steps that I have taken to achieve this animation and share with you some tips and tricks. So let's get into it. I started with modeling. As usual, it was the easiest part since uh, the model itself was really simple. I used fewer polygons and just added a subdivision surface modifier. I changed the camera to orthographic because it suits this type of animation very well and it makes the scene look smaller. For the lighting setup, I used one area light and for the environment light or environment lighting I used HDRI image from uh, polyheaven.com Now let's talk about how we can make the transition from a tree to a cylinder and vice versa The first method I found was using the cast modifier which is uh, mostly known for transforming objects into spheres but in our case we can change the shape to a cylinder then we can adjust the factor and the radius to get the result we want. And simply keyframe these values by hovering over it and pressing the I key. But I'm going with the second method, which is to use the shape keys. We can go to uh, object data properties, then shape keys, and click the plus button twice. And now we can simply reshape the tree to a cylinder by scaling the edge loops. We can align the vertical edge loops by scaling them in the X and Y axis with a value of zero and this will give us a perfect cylinder. Now we can transition between the tree and the cylinder by changing this value. Here I'm parenting the two objects to the empty I just created. This way it's easier to animate all I have to do is move and rotate the MT and simply keyframe the MT instead. I'm duplicating these objects for the loop setup. For this one I'm gonna make sure it stays a cylinder. I also want to make sure that in the last frame the second MT is positioned exactly the same as the first empty. In my case it's 0, 0, 0 and the x, y and z axis. This way when I switch between the first and the last frame the scene should look the same. And one last thing we need to animate uh, is the uh, paint drop. I'm just gonna go through the essential parts of the material. Starting with the wood material I went with the uh, procedural wood material to avoid using UVs and this will prevent us from stretching textures when uh, the cylinder transforms into a tree. In fact, this will give a very close representation of how wood gets carved in real life. The easiest way to create a good looking wood texture is to use wave texture node. Also want to make sure that I'm using object for the texture coordinates. Play with these values until we get a good looking wood texture. We can add more nodes and it will look like this. We can pause the video to follow the node setup. And the paint material should be easy. Here's the node setup if you wanna do the same. Now I'm gonna use a mixed node to mix the wood material and the paint material. We need to use black and white information to determine where the paint should be. I created a simple note setup for that and this is how it looks like. When I change the Z value, we get more white. We get the effect of liquid sliding down. And here's the note setup if you want to copy what I did.
Now let's plug it to the factor of the mix shader node. Now we can animate this easily by pressing the I key. The paint looks really flat, it's missing some volume. We can take care of that by using the displacement map. So I have this color ram that is made specifically for the displacement map. When you zoom in, you can see that it's smooth. And we have a gradient effect. I have this displacement node with a curve node that, I that will help us control the profile. And now it looks way better. To make it work properly, we need to go to material settings and set the displacement to displacement only. Make sure we have enough the geometry by increasing the subdivision level. Here's a quick comparison without displacement and with displacement. Here's what the curve node does. We can use the curve node to control the profile. Like the custom profile when adding bevel. Now we can copy the wood material to the second object. You can shift right click and shift left click to see if the first and the last frame are perfectly identical. This way we get a perfect loop animation. And of course we can copy the paint material that we made and add it to our paint drop. Make sure it's perfectly timed. Now we are done with the materials, now it's time to add the wood shavings. I've created these three objects to represent the wood shavings and added them into a collection. So let's add uh, a particle system and pick our collection. And enable rotation and give it some randomness. And give it some object velocity. Now let's add collision to the floor. I noticed the particles are bouncing a lot, so let's increase the damping value to 0.75. And one last thing, let's add wind and turbulence. You can change the strength of the force field. You can even keyframe the value of the strength. For example, I wanted the wind to blow the wood shavings a few seconds after they have appeared. And this is what I ended up with. I have enabled motion blur which will make the animation look more dynamic. And I'm using Filmic with no look. Instead, I'm gonna add a color balance node in the Blender Compositor and adjust some settings. Now the only thing left is to wait for the rendering process. One thing that really makes these looping animations stand out is the satisfying sound effects that comes with them. I'm not a sound designer myself, so I had to look for one. To be honest, I had a low budget, so I went to Fiverr and found a good sound effect artist. Thankfully, the animation was really short and the basic plan was sufficient. And here is the final result. I hope you learned something new, I really enjoyed making this 3D animation. Consider subscribing and leave a like and a comment. If you are interested in supporting me, you can go to uh, coffee or ko-fi.com slash yasin3dz. Link is in the description. You can find there uh, the blend file of this project and other 3D models and assets I'm planning to upload uh, weekly. That's it from me, 
I'll leave you with this second variation of the animation. Hope you enjoy it and take care.